For this week's episode, let's dive into the details of one of the most awe-inspiring atmospheric phenomena, the aurora. Now, the aurora is referred to in many different names based on where it glows. In the northern hemisphere, these lights are referred to as aurora borealis, or the northern lights, and in the southern hemisphere, they are called the aurora australis, or southern lights. Although these beautiful lights can be seen right here on Earth, they are actually a direct result of space weather and its solar storms. Let's take a look at the big picture first before we talk about how the aurora forms. So there's the sun, Earth, and Earth's magnetosphere. Earth's magnetosphere is made up of an electric field that shields Earth from harmful solar events, more specifically solar wind. Now solar wind is directly created by the sun. All this energy is constantly being released by the sun, which flows through space and approaches Earth Earth's atmosphere. The sun is constantly releasing energy, but at times it will spit out a large amount of energy. This is called a coronal mass ejection, or CME for short. It is a solar storm. As a solar storm approaches Earth, energy travels along our Earth's magnetic field lines, and some make it as far south as both the Earth's poles. Once the charged particles interact with gases in our atmosphere, those bright shining lights bleed through the sky in an array of different colors. Aurora formation is quite complicated, but those beautiful lights are definitely a sight to see. One common misconception about the northern lights is that they are actually occurring at all times, but they are only visible during night hours. Thanks for tuning in. I'm meteorologist Jordan Jenna.